So good morning. My name is Sabrina Davoli. I'm head of administration here at the CIMEX. So I'm not one of the academics uh, of, the, of the faculty of the CIMEX which you've met so far. And I'm here to briefly give you a presentation of the Harvard Summer School, which is um, a very uh, particular experience which you can make here in Dovereto that sort of complements the um, teaching offer uh, of the CIMEC uh, besides the master and, and the PhD. So uh, Harvard came first to Rovereto and, and Trento in 2010. So we're now organizing the seventh edition of the summer, Harvard Summer School. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's an eight week um, summer school which is organized jointly by the Harvard Mind Brain Behavior Interfaculty Initiative and the Center for Mind Brain Sciences. So basically, it's Harvard coming to Rovereto for eight weeks uh, with uh, their students for, um, for uh, uh, her, its uh, summer school. The um, Harvard Summer School program have a num has a number of overseas of summer school uh, overseas initiatives all over the world. Some of them are in Europe. Some of them, a couple of them are in Italy. Um, this is the only one uh, devoted to the study of the mind and brain. And it's, uh, I think, one of the very few of them who accepts Italian students, students enrolled, better, students enrolled in Italian universities who merge with uh, students from Harvard who come here. So uh, it's mainly aimed at Harvard students. Um, the, 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 the edition of this year will have about 30 students. Um, 25 of them, or about that number, will come from Harvard. And, uh, and it's also open to uh, students enrolled in Italian universities, so not only Italian students, but students from all over the place who are enrolled in Italian universities, uh, and who are enrolled either in the second or third year of the bachelor of a three-year degree, or in the first year of the master of a laurea specialist, of a laurea magistrale. So why could it be interesting for you? Because either you are enrolled in a third year, in the third year of your bachelor, and you still have to graduate, and you might want uh, to think of, of applying this year, or you might be thinking of applying to our master, and you could think of applying next in the next year edition. Uh, what are the prerequisites for applying to the Harvard Summer School? No specific background in the study of the mind and brain is necessary uh, because there's going to be an introductory course during the first four weeks. But uh, a strong interest in studying the mind and brain is necessary and you'll show it in a motivation letter which those of you who will decide to apply will have to write and good English proficiency because the whole uh, of the course is taught in English. Uh, uh, the studi students uh, from the Italian university will merge with the American students all the time. I'll, I'll then give you the, the details of how the school is actually organized. And, um, and, and all the faculty uh, will, um, will teach in English and lectures and experiments, reading material, little bit in English. So good English proficiency is necessary. This year, uh, as I said, it's a, it's a joint, it's an initiative jointly organized by Harvard University and, and the CIMEX. So this year we have, we have faculty from uh, the Department of Psychology and Harvard Medical School in, in Harvard, and we will have one professor from the CIMEX. Um, in particular, we'll have Alfonso, Professor Alfonso Caramata, who is Professor of Psychology at the Department of Psychology in Harvard. And we will have Professor John Assad, who is Professor of Neurobiology at the Harvard Medical School. And then we will have a professor from the University of Trento. We'll have Professor Giorgio Valdotigara, who will taught an in-depth course. And he's Professor of Psychobiology and Psychological Psychology at the CIMEC. Every year uh, we have um, different courses. There's normally an introductory course which is windows into the structure on the mind and brain, and this is why I said it's not necessary to have a specific background already acquired on cognitive neuros of, of, of um, neuroscience. And it's, uh, so it's, there's an introductory course uh, in the first four weeks. 
who will be taught this year from, by Alfonso Canamazza and John Assad. And then there's an in-depth course, which is taught in the second four weeks, in the following four weeks, which this year is going to be inside the minds and brains of other animals. You've heard many times that our uh, animal cognition and neuroscience lab have been mentioned. This is where this course will be taught, and this is where you have the opportunity to, uh, so, so not only to have lectures, because this uh, summer school has lectures, but also the possibility to participate in experiments, in attending seminars and other, um, and, and, uh, and other talks by, uh, by professors and guests that we normally have at the CIMEC, and also to participate in, in the workshop Cogivo, which is going to uh, take place in, in Trento this year, which is the workshop on cognition and evolution. Some operational details. So I said the course, the, the, the summer school will be run between fourth, uh, the 4th of June and July 31st this year. So it's an eight week course. Harvard students stay here, come here for the whole of the thing. So for the whole eight weeks. Whereas for Italian students, so students enrolled in Italian university also to give an opportunity, and, and we know that it's, it's exams time, the, the beginning of the summer, so some of you uh, already asked in the past uh, uh, to, to, to have the opportunity to take your exams besides um, applying for, besides participating in the summer school. So there's a, uh, the, the option to participate in, in all the programs, so in to take part, uh, to, to attend both courses, uh, but also to attend only one of them. And, and therefore to attend the summer school for, for four weeks only. Um, how can you choose between four and, and eight weeks? If you do not have a back prior background in, um, in, in cognitive science, uh, you, you will uh, be able to attend only the introductory course, whereas if you've already taken a similar course during your university studies and you'll be able to prove that with your transcripts, uh, you'll be able to choose between either the introductory course or only the in-depth course that follows in, in, the, in the second four weeks. Um, you've already seen that the CIMEG is sort of scattered all over the province here between Trento and, uh, and Roberto, so part of the, um, of the teaching activities, the first course will take place in Mattarello, which is, next to, which is near to, to Trento. And uh, whereas the second course uh, will be taught in, uh, in our animal uh, cognition and neuroscience labs in, uh, in Rovereto. Um, the Harvard Summer School is a quite peculiar initiative because uh, there's uh, accommodation and meals that are offered that are uh, provided in Unity N facilities. So basically, our students uh, uh, stay together with the American students in our university dorms in, in, uh, in Trento and um, participate in a number of, of, very different, uh, of very different activities. Lectures are normally taught from Monday to Mondays to Thursday, thir Thursdays, whereas the uh, Fridays to, and the weekends are normally devoted to a number of social activities um, that uh, are um, designed to uh, immerse American students into the Italian cultures. So, um, so besides studying with uh, Harvard faculty, which is already a good enough reason possibly to, um, to attend this summer school, there's a, also going to be hikes in the Dolomites in the nearby Alps. There's going to be uh, weekends in Lake Garda and uh, trips to nearby cities like Verona, Turin and, uh, um, and, uh, and Florence. And there's a number of, uh, there's going to be a couple of free week weekends for students to organize themselves and uh, some of them normally uh, decide to visit other cities of interest. In the past, they've been to, to Rome or to, uh, or to Milan or no, to Tuscany. They've, they've um, rented a house in Tuscany, they've been there for the weekend. So, um, the uh, uh, so the, the, it's quite different. It's quite different from the summer schools that the, the, that we are uh, more used to seeing in, in Italy and in Europe, which are very short, very intense, uh, one-week courses. For instance, this is a very different structure, which is typical of the of the American universities. 
Uh, some details. The, uh, the application process for this year is already open. Uh, the call for uh, the application to the Harvardson School will have to be sent to Harvard directly. Um, some bad news, there's a cost of course because the, the eight week course um, has a cost of 2,000 euro, uh, whereas the four week course only has, has a cost of um, 1,000 euro. It covers both accommodation, meals, all extracurricular activities, everything I've, I've told you so far is covered by, by the fee. But good news as well, there's financial uh, aid available. Together with the call for applying to the Harvard Summer School, there's a call out for application for financial aid, so you can do both things at a time. Um, financial aid depends on income, family income, and, I, and, then, and I'll clarify this a bit um, immediately when I uh, tell you about documents for applications. So as I said, application has to be directed, uh, has to be sent directly to Harvard, and it comprises a list of tra uh, transcripts, so the list of exams with grades, a motivation letter in which you'll explain why you would like to attend the, the summer school, two letters of recommendations uh, to be written from faculty or advisors that you've met during your university courses. And for those of you who intend to apply for financial aid, there's also a call out. So um, by getting a valid easy declaration uh, and, uh, and by filling out the financial aid application, you'll be able to apply for both things at the same time. Uh, bear in mind for those of you, those of you who are enrolled in, in university in, in, here in Trento, that ESA is not ETF. Uh, all of you are, um, are familiar with ECHEF, which is a very uh, local way of calculating income, whereas ESA is the only one who can be uh, compared all over Italy, and this is why you will have to get a valid ESA declaration. It's not difficult. Uh, so so uh, in this way, uh, everyone can be uh, compared in, in terms of financial income. <laughs> Uh, so if you decide to apply to, to the summer school, you will be able to do both things at a time. And um, financial aid can go can vary from 500 euros to 100, 1,800. So depending on your financial situation, you could have you could find yourself spending very little for this uh, for this summer school. And you'll be able to decide uh, once you know whether you've been eligible for financial aid, whether to confirm your application to the Harvard Summer School or not. Um, so as I said, uh, there's, a, there's a, a number of social activities which uh, are, um, are done during, the, during the, the Harvard Summer School. And, um, and here is some of the, um, of the comments that we gathered from satisfaction questionnaires that, we, uh, that, that Harvard asks uh, their students to fill out at the end of the summer school. Uh, so we've always been quite happy that the summer school has always been found very, um, very useful and, uh, and a very exciting experience. Um, some, some, some bonuses for, it, for, for uh, Italian students or students enrolled in Italian universities. Uh, a couple of, of students who attended the Harvard Summer School used that experience also to uh, enrich their CV and got uh, a place uh, and, and got a fellowship in our PhD program, for instance. And uh, there's also the possibility, you, you, you know that there are a number of credits, uh, that uh, 12 credits that uh, students have to gather during their university, during their master course in um, activities of their choice. <coughs> this experience is eligible for uh, for, for credits, for university credits. Um, so as I said, the application deadline, the deadline for, for applying, the, the, the call for applying this year is already open. The application uh, deadline is April 5, and by the end of April, um, the, those of you who uh, will be accepted will already, will already know. Um, those are the um, email addresses and the, the, everything that I've told you more or less is, is already online in our website uh, in, the, in the page that is devoted to the Harvard Summer School. And uh, in the questions and answers session this afternoon, my colleague Alessandra, who, uh, 
who uh, organizes the, the summer school and knows the bits and pieces of everything uh, from daily life to the organization of courses will be present to answer any questions you may have. If you have any questions now that you want to raise or later on. Okay, thank you.